Hey guys, it's my pro documentary aims to analyze circulation through the lens of a character. This technique focuses on one specific individual to draw attention to potential areas for improvement at this site. This current clip, we see the mass expansion of the entire story of pool, encompassing the grounds, the new ground, and putting the pavement on the ground and the tenant of the staircases and the light post, and eventually the skyline, which is secluded away from the main attraction, which is the pool. Our character today is Sebastian, he's a male who is 19 years old and is a wheelchair user who lives in Chinatown, New York, and currently he is trying to meet his both his friends at a story of the pool. As far as the settings, um, as we mentioned earlier, it's in Astoria Pool, which is on 19th Street and 23rd Drive, located in Queens, New York. In order for Sebastian to safely get to the Astoria Pool, he must first find an accessible station, which is located at 63rd Ave in Lexington, and he will be taking the F train um, down towards Queensbound. And then at 21st and Queensbridge, he transfers to the Q100 bus, which will eventually take Sebastian all the way to the main entrance of the Astoria Pool. We start to see the issues arise here as less and less wheelchair accessibility remains, as the whole perimeter of the pool is surrounded by a, a set of staircases that slopes downwards and depresses into the ground. This is a view from the main entrance. So the main entrance has two decks. One is the upper deck and then the main pool is actually lower below that. So the main entrance is led down to a slope guided by a series of stairs. We can see this in these locker rooms. One has to walk through the locker rooms down the stairs in order to get to the main pool. As you can see here again, like I mentioned, staircases surround the entire pool, which eventually depresses down into the pool. Um, there is flat pavement around the pool, but it is inaccessible to the wheelchairs because in order to get to that point, they must first cross the staircases. Um, the only accessible station to the Astoria pool is on the opposite side, all the way across the pool. And here is a photo showing the main door and the area around it. So you can see here, this is the main gate that is wheelchair accessible and the ramp here guides into a separate locker room from the rest of the community, from the rest of the public community, and that's where they will change and um, get ready to go out into the pool. Um, issues arrive here, as we see even, even in the architecture, it makes it seem like there's a separation between the wheelchair users and the non-wheelchair users. For example, in this photo, the entire facade consists of stairs at ground level. For one to even get to the main door, they must walk a flight of stairs downhill, which is not possible for a wheelchair user. So through this lens of a character, we see the issues arise at this assorted site, and also this encourages us to find developments and improvements for those issues.